We learned tonight plans to build a new baseball and softball facility for the University of St. Thomas are moving forward. After a bitter start, some neighbors near Highland Bridge say they now back the new facility. Jennifer Hoff explains what changed to get the deal done. Call the St. Paul City Council to order roll call. St. Paul City Council held several public hearings Wednesday about a proposed University of St. Thomas athletic complex. One that would be built on an old rail yard and the site of the former Ford Motor Company in the Highland Park neighborhood, Councilor Chris Tolbert represents. We're grateful that all those people working hard to the goal and uh, today starts the next step of that process. All in favor say aye. 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 Today's meeting painted a clearer picture of those plans, including a new baseball and softball stadium, practice facility, and parking lot, all part of a booming new development called Highland Bridge, some two miles from campus. <laughs> There's a little going on, yeah. The school's athletic director says the fields would fill up 13 acres that the developer handed over to the city's port authority in charge of cleaning up that land, costing about six and a half million dollars. And once it's remediated, St. Thomas would buy it back to start building. It's a complex situation, and this is one of those situations where I do feel like we can provide a win-win-win scenario. Last year, some residents worried about lighting, noise, and congestion, but a new berm, landscaping, and retaining walls address their concerns. Any design or cost of the complex, though, is years away, as St. Thomas still has to start fundraising for a facility fit for a now D1 school, a shift made a few years ago. Now we're taking a parcel of land for baseball, softball, and in turn also amenities for the, for the community. The stadiums would also be shared with local youth ball leagues, making the bigger venues even better. In St. Paul, Jennifer Hoff, CARE 11 News.